Hello. How we doing, friends? Good. How are you? I'm doing really great. Thank you. Happy to have you guys with us today. We're happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Great. Do you guys want to give a quick introduction of who you are so our fans at home know who we're chatting with over at our f famous Missoula Food Bank and Community Center, please? Sure. I'm Jeannie Kuchundi. I'm the program manager at Missoula Food Bank and Community Center. And I'm Rajim Seabrook, one of the program managers over at the Western Montana Mental Health Center here in Missoula. And here are some of our fine volunteers and staff helping to make some healthy snacks and creatures using the Kids Table School Day snacks. That is fantastic. You guys, the food bank is using Missoula Gibbs to raise money for the Kids Table School Program. Jamie, can you tell us a little bit about this program? This is a new thing that you guys are fundraising for this year, so I'm really excited to hear more about it. Sure, yes. Um, it is a program that's been a long time in the making. We've had several uh, Western Montana Mental Health Center CSCT therapists reach out to us in the past to provide in-school snacks. Um, but there's just not been federal funding for a program like that. Uh, and so, so we haven't been able to do it because the, the, there's many kids in our community that need such a program. But this year, um, with our connection with Regime and Winter, Western Montana Mental Health Center, we were able to make that a reality. And our partnership with Western Montana Mental Health Center has been able to make this possible because they help with some of food transportation and some of the logistics to get these snacks to 30 plus schools um, throughout Missoula and beyond. I love that. You know, one of the great things about the Giving Day and what we've really seen come a lot um, after 2020 is the collaboration of nonprofits and groups working together to be able to provide broader services, better services to more people. So it sounds like you guys are right on that. Congratulations. Can you tell me a little bit more about the CSCT program? Uh Absolutely. CSCT in the world is, is comprehensive school and community treatment. And uh, in the world of social work, it's a lot of acronyms and to shorten it down, you get CSCT. Uh, we are in most of the Missoula County schools and some of the outlying schools uh, uh, like uh, Hamilton and Thompson Falls and up north in the Kalispell areas. And what we do is provide mental health and behavioral uh, health inside the schools. Uh, in the past, in the old old days, a lot of uh, kids who struggled behaviorally were removed from the class and then would suffer academically and socially due to the stigmas attached. Uh, CSET is about helping them manage their emotions and keeping them in class because that's what they're in school for is to essentially is to learn. So we are uh, a very strong mental health component within the schools and we, we serve just about everyone, but our main populace are serving those who are uh, on, on Medicaid and at times 180% below the poverty line. So we're serving a very large population of people who have an incredibly high need, both inside the school setting and outside the school setting. And one of those, uh, one of those high needs is a basic human need is food. So we put uh, mental health and community and partnership together with the food bank. And here we are with a great collaborative effort and a, and a pretty successful program thus far. This just touches my heart, you guys. This is wonderful to learn about. I just I just absolutely love it. It sounds like you're ta tackling the issue of hangriness a little bit as well, <laughs> right? We all know that when we don't get food in us, for whatever the reason, we can get a little hangry and it can be hard to focus and concentrate when we're in schools or working. So I love that you guys are doing this. Snacks mean a lot. Speaking of snacks, how do these or what kinds of snacks are your volunteers making in the background here? Oh yeah, they're making some fun creatures uh, out of the the food that is sent through the uh, Kids Stable School Day program. Wonderful. Well, I'm sure we'll get to check in on that in a minute. But I'd like to know how your program got started. Yeah, I, I guess maybe it started last summer when we were running our summer kids table program and providing breakfast and lunch meals through a similar summer program with Western Montana Mental Health Center. Um, and same-ish same program where therapists go into the schools and help um, during those 
I mean, you can speak more to that, but outside of the, the school day and continuing on these behavioral um, plans. And, and that, you know, those, those needs don't go away when school starts. And, and it's a population that the breakfast and lunch food that is provided through the school districts does not meet all of their nutritional needs. And like you spoke to with the feeling hangry, um, you can't approach behavioral health issues if a, if a child is hungry. And regime just kept coming and we kept providing food and trying to figure out how to feed these, these kids that they're serving. Um, and so it just sort of organically developed into here's a program that we should start and do and let's make this happen. Uh, within the pandemic added a bunch of stressors on to, uh, onto life as well. So when you're dealing with a stress population during a pandemic, uh, this 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 program in itself, uh, I like to call it reverse regonomics. It's more like trickle up instead of trickle down. Uh, some of these food services help offset cost of families. So if you're able to take home a breakfast or a lunch every day at the end of your day, and you're able to help offset some costs, all of a sudden you can put more gas, uh, you know, money into gas to get into your car. You can help pay for your cell phone bill because your basic, one of your basic human needs are now being covered almost on a daily basis. So it, it goes beyond the hangry component uh, as well. It, 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 it kind of puts an overlapping arc into the full circle of community. I love this. It's all about community. So how do the snacks get from the food bank into the schools? It sounds like you're in a lot of schools, so it can't be an easy job. Let's hear about it. <laughs> um, every, every, during the summer, I would come every day and pick up several, a couple of hundred pounds of food and then bring it back to, uh, to, to my office and go, I would go into my conference room and then parcel it out uh, for each program because you get everything in bulk and I, I would never ask the food bank to microcosmically break it down for each of our 30 plus programs. So then after I would break these uh, large parcels down, I would either hand deliver it to each site or I would have the people come from their schools to pick it up or a combination of both. So I've, I've been to Thompson Falls and back, I've been to Hamilton and back, I've been to St. Ignatius, putting a lot of miles on the old Subaru and um, just really distributing it because the people can't leave the schools if they're providing a service for the kids, especially if there's crisis. So, the food bank's done a great job of, of, of being the facilitator. I am now the middleman of the distributor, and then we get it to the schools in any which way, shape, fashion, or form possible. Uh, this is amazing. Regime, do you sleep? You know, I, I wish I had a quarter for every time someone's asked me that. I usually I, I, I sleep about three to four hours a night uh, max. Uh, my brain just never stops. Uh, it just never stops because... Uh, the issues of the people never stop. So I have the luxury of, of being able to rest from time to time when others don't. So uh, no, I don't. I, I, there's, there's too much There's too much in this world and too many needs to be met for me to sleep. I'll sleep when I'm dead. That's the cousin of death. I'll get there when I get there. <laughs> I love it, Regime. And thank you for all your hard work and dedication. We need more people like you in this world. However, I do know that passion can make you do a lot of wonderful things. And we're seeing that with everybody in the giving day. So it's wonderful. So what has the impact of this program been so far? I think it's been huge. I think it's been huge. I'm gonna, I mean, there's there's two ways to look at it, right? There's, there's, there's impact on Western side and then there's impact on the community side and there's impact on the food bank side. I just went off on a 20 minute spiel. I'll let Jamie kind of talk about how it's impacted the food bank. I think that the impact of the food bank uh, is is manageable. You know, I think the real impact is is what it has for the families that are and the children that are receiving this food, um, and the benefits to to be able to just have a little extra snack throughout your day, so that you can focus on on learning and school and moving beyond whatever behavioral issue with, you know came up. And, and getting back into the classroom and and learning and staying staying in the classroom with your peers and growing with your peers to to become the best adult you can be. I love it. I love it. I I love what Jamie said and in conjunction bridging that gap. The impact on Western side is um, by the end of this, we will have served 
several thousand children and, and families. That impact is positive financially, impacts nutritionally. Uh, in some ways, it's actually segued some of our families into learning about the food bank, period. They had no idea that some of this, uh, these services that the food bank provides even existed. So it has been a, a great collaborative effort that has led to more inclusivity, more positivity, and then by proxy alone, positivity. Uh, so it, it continues to reverberate. It, it, it helps a strong CSET force. It's helping kids in Missoula County Public Schools. So one program has overlapped into several programs for the betterment of the babies at the end of the day. I love it. I just absolutely love this, you guys. Um, and just so everyone remembers, both of your organizations are participating in the Giving Day, correct? Correct. Absolutely great. So looks like you guys are both doing pretty good, but please, anybody who's watching the stream, this is a really good opportunity to go and check out the Western Montana Mental Health Center and the Missoula Community Food, Food Bank and Community Center. Check out their pages, give them a donation. Now, this has been so exciting. I'm absolutely just touched learning about this program, and I'm sure that our viewers are too. But after my Ula said a few minutes ago, I'm starving. So I am dying to see what those snacks are being, what kind of snacks are being made back there. Here we go. Ooh. Jess, would you like to show Hi. off what you're making? We've been making yes. some nifty apple slice hungry folks made with some apples, peanut butter, we have Cheerios and a little slice of orange there for the tongue. And all of these items can be found in your, your kids' snack meals and prepared for a nice, fun way of eating. That's so cute. Can you put out to the camera for us so we can get a little closer view? A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. All right, look at that. Yep, I'm hungry. It's delicious. And easy to do that at home, right? Mm-hmm. And as we know, kids can be a little fussy. So I think creating flowers out of food can make it bright and so they enjoy it. And non-cookers like myself, as a mom, can really prepare stuff and add to it so it's more presentable and very easy, I will say, for butterflies. Yummy. And so <laughs> totally. What are the butterflies made of? These are cheese sticks and raisins for the little tentacles and carrots for their feet and oranges. I love this. I'm actually very feeling simple. very inspired to go home and try to make some healthy snacks for my two-year-old once they get there. There you go. Excellent. And thanks for the education. I feel like there's more over there, though. What else do you got for us? Well, my name's Aaron. I'm the director of the food bank. And today they let me play in here. I'm making these cute little snails. It's a banana with some peanut butter, little apple antenna, raisins for eyes, and a cool orange peel shell. Oh, Aren't that is so cute. Horrible? Look at him. And Aaron, thank you so much for taking a moment out of your day to come make us some lovely snails for the Missoula Gives live stream. We're so happy to have you here. This is the most fun thing I've done today. I also want to say thank you to you and every single donor who's made this possible. What an incredible day, not just for us, but across this community. Thanks to all. Absolutely, I second that. Thanks to all, right? This is a community effort and the community is definitely standing up right now. We thank you all for your efforts. Now, did we want to talk to Jamie and Regime one more time? You guys, this has been fantastic. Like I said, I cannot wait this weekend to try to make some of these healthy snacks for my kiddos. For my kiddo, you gave me a really good idea that it doesn't have to be complicated. I don't have to be a chef. I could just make a flower out of whatever stuff I have at home and my kid's gonna wanna eat that more than just a pile of food. So thank you for these great ideas. I just, it's been a pleasure talking with you. I love this program. I love your collaborative efforts. Please keep up the good work. And do you guys wanna give us a few last words? Well, thank you for having us today, and I'm glad you're feeling inspired. Um, it's always fun to 
you know, just chop up vegetables, get kids involved and see what creations uh, come out of it. Uh, and of course, some, some yummy snacks. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you for, for time and candor and uh, to understand that, that the more we are together, that's where the progress is going to be made, especially in a small community. And that when you help one organization, you're actually probably helping more than one. So give what you can and, and share the love and just appreciate all the people that do give. Absolutely. Thanks for you got you guys to everything you're doing in Western Montana. You're making a really great impact and our community is lucky to have both of your organizations. Thank you so much for joining the live stream today. Let's take a quick break here and do a, a little commercial. We're having a little tiny technical difficulties, but the stream will be right back. Missoula Food Bank, Jamie, Regime, Aaron, volunteers, Becca, everybody, thank you so much for joining us.